What's up guys, it's Madeleine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I thought that it would be really interesting to try 5 CEOs um, business women morning routine. Of course, I am not exactly at their stage of their lives, um, they're more mature, some of them have kids, but I really wanted to try this for a week, so I tried five um, five CEOs morning routine. So you'll see that I um, graded like five aspects of the morning routines, and you'll see why I I'll tell you why I chose these grades and why personally um, this is what happened for me. Um, also, I took like the morning routines of women that were really realistic because there's somewhere people wake up at 4 a.m. and that's just not realistic for me. I am a waitress, I can finish work late and I cannot wake up at 4 a.m. and I don't think it's healthy either to maybe wake up at 4 a.m. if it works for you, good, but I wanted more realistic ones where the majority of people can try and see what it does for them. So for me, my morning routine is usually I wake up around 8 a.m. Um, I wanted to wake up earlier, so that was a really interesting thing to do, to try this morning routine. And yeah, so I normally wake up at 8 a.m. I chill in my bed on my phone for like 20 30 minutes and then i wake up i have an orange juice do a workout breakfast shower um yeah and i start working at like 10 10 30 11 a.m when i am when i'm on my own so i rated um the morning routine depending on the wake up time their breakfast their workout and the time they start working and a bit like of the overall routine if it's too fast too slow is there something i really like or something i really doesn't like and with those information let's get into the video so i started monday with nell scovel who is a producer and a writer she's also one of the first women to write two episodes for the simpsons so go girl she also wrote for vogue the rolling stone and the new york times and many more but yeah a really interesting woman with a very impressing past and yeah so i tried um her morning routine and here is how it went Nell Scovel starts her day at 6.45 a.m. and she is really disciplined to not hit snooze when she wakes up. So she gets up pretty fast to go to the kitchen and make herself a coffee and eat a vegan muffin. You'll see I didn't have a vegan muffin so I just made myself a toast with some almond butter. Then at 6.55, before her family wakes up, she checks some emails and social media before starting the breakfast for everyone at 7.15 a.m. She did say that she makes pancakes and eggs in the morning, but I didn't have time the night before and in the morning to make those pancakes, so I just had a smoothie. And she also mentioned that she does clean a little bit around the house before she starts her day. So my little cleaning routine took a little bit more time, so I didn't have time to check more emails. So I just did my workout, which is basically yoga or life cycle, her favorites. Then at 9.15, she shower and gets dressed before she starts working at 
So for Nails Couple, I graded her wake up time at a 9 out of 10 because I thought it was like a really good time to wake up. She wakes up at around like 6.45 and I think it's a really nice time to wake up but I feel like in my ideal morning routine and my most productive self, I'd like to wake up maybe a bit earlier but 6.45 is really nice so I gave her a 9 out of 10 for that. For her breakfast, I gave her a 8 out of 10 because she does have a you know a fun breakfast which is pancakes eggs vegan muffin and coffee um however it is not realistic for me to eat so much in the morning like i do not like to eat too much in the morning um i did not have a vegan muffin to eat with my breakfast as you saw and i don't have time to make pancakes the evening before nor in the morning so that wasn't realistic for me but yeah i thought it was a really fun breakfast to do i rated her workout a 10 out of 10 and that's because she does allow herself a an, a full hour of workout which is something i'd really like to do you know like between 45 minutes and an hour workout that is my goal for this year and yeah i just thought it was really great for her time of work, she starts at 9.30 and I gave her an 8 out of 10 for that because I do like to start maybe a bit earlier. Like she does emails in the morning, but I got caught up with it and it took me a little bit more time than what she, it usually takes her. But yeah, so I thought it was maybe a little bit late. So maybe just skip the emails in the morning and start working earlier than 9.30. For her overall routine, I gave her a 7 out of 10 because um, it was rushed. As I said, I would have liked to wake up earlier, especially since I did an hour workout because everything else was so rushed. And I don't like being rushed in the morning, but I don't like being extra slow either. So I feel like it was super rushed to wake up at 6.45, make breakfast for everyone, uh, do emails, have a workout, shower, and start working. I feel like it was really rushed. So <laughs> that's basically it. So that's why I gave her a 7 out of 10 for her overall routine. So the final score is 42 out of 50, which is really good. For Tuesday, I did the... Carrie Glassman morning routine. Um, she's the CEO and the founder of Nutri Nutri Nutritious Life and wrote four very successful books about you know a healthy life and just a healthy life. So you know a renowned author and with a really interesting past and knowledge. Carrie Glassman starts her day at 6 a.m., which was really dark outside. And when she gets up, she makes herself a lemon water glass, which was really nice in the morning. And she also takes some vitamins that I didn't take because I don't have mine for the moment. And she also takes time to make herself a coffee because 6 a.m. is quite early. At 6.15, she starts editing a little bit and yeah, I was editing on this video as you'll see. And for breakfast, she eats uh, some oatmeal with chia and almond butter. It is actually very similar to my breakfast, so it was really nice. And I was also looking at the news, so I was reading the New York Times. Her workout basically consists of two sets of push-ups. So as you saw, Carrie Glassman wakes up at 6 a.m. and I gave her for that a 9 out of 10 because I think it's really great. However, it is a bit early. Um, in the winter, it wasn't ideal. I feel like in the summer, it would have been easier to wake up at 6 a.m. But where I live, I don't know about you, but at 6 a.m. it's super dark outside. So I it was a bit difficult like as you saw it looked like a horror movie outside for her um breakfast i gave her a 10 out of 10 because she does have coffee um she also had lemon water which i really like to drink a glass of water in the morning and her breakfast is 
basically what I eat in the morning too. So it was extremely delicious. For Carrie Glassman workout, I gave her a six out of 10 because she does move a little bit. She does two sets of push-ups, which is really not my favorite thing to do. And two sets just seemed like a very soft. So that was not my favorite thing. So Carrie Glassman starts working at 8.15, 8.30, I think, in the morning, which is really great, which is really kind of early. Like right now, it was the time I woke up, like 8, 8.15. So yeah, it was kind of early, but it was nice to try it. And, but I was still like a little bit tired when I started working. So for that, I gave her an 8 out of 10. For Carrie Glassman overall routine, I gave her an 8 out of 10 because I think it really is more realistic for me. It really was a nice routine, wake up early, do a little bit of work, breakfast was insane. It was just like it didn't connect with the workout, so that's why it's an 8 out of 10. So for Carrie Glassman, we have an overall score of 41 out of 50, which is really great. Wednesday, I tried Miss Kendall Jenner uh, morning routine, which was really deceiving. So, yeah, and it was not like deceiving, but there was like two main points that I really didn't like in her routine, and you'll see why. Kendall Jenner wakes up at 6.30 a.m., and when she wakes up, she scrolls on social media for 30 minutes. After she has a workout that lasts up to an hour and make breakfast, which consists of eggs and avocado. But as you'll see, I didn't have any avocado, so I just made some eggs. She doesn't mention anything about coffee or tea in the morning, so I just made myself a matcha latte to start my day. And then around 8.30 she will start working. So Kendall Jenner wakes up at 6.30, which would be like my ideal time to wake up. So I thought it was really great to wake up at 6.30. However, she does go on her phone for 30 minutes in the morning. So she doesn't actually get up before 7. And that was what didn't connect with me. And I find that when I spend time on my phone in the morning, like I am slower, I am less motivated. Personally, it's something I, I want to work on, not go on my phone in the morning. So that didn't connect with me and didn't join my goals. For her breakfast, she has eggs and avocados. I didn't have avocados in my house that morning, unfortunately, but yeah. and. Eggs in the morning are not appealing to me either, so I thought it was a really boring breakfast. So for that, I gave her a 4 out of 10. Then I gave her a 10 out of 10 for her workout because she does say that she likes to work out a 45 to an hour workout, which is my goal. Kendall Jenner also started working at around 8.30 to 9 a.m., which is absolutely great, so I gave her a 10 out of 10 for that. And yeah. So for her overall routine, I gave Kendall Jenner a 5 out of 10 because of the very boring breakfast that does not excite me for the day and the fact that she wakes up at 6.30 but spends 30 minutes on her phone which I don't think is the healthiest thing to do and you know, I do that in the morning but that's something I really want to work on and I think people should try to work on it too because it really does drain your motivation for the day. So for Kendall Jenner, we have an overall score of 39 out of 50. On Thursday, I tried Claudia Chan morning routine, which was really nice too. So she is the founder of She Summit, which is a program that, you know, encourage people to be the best versions of themselves and have a healthy life and be happy and you know be like the best 
best version of themselves basically Claudia Chan starts her day at 7 a.m. and she automatically feeds her animals for th first thing in the morning and she also says that she doesn't go on social media then at 7 15 she has a workout and a five minute meditation that i actually did at the end of my morning routine and she also does a to-do list and sets the attitude for the day at 8 30 she has a shower get dressed and that's when i did the meditation and yeah i forgot to film but i also read the news so claudia chan wakes up at 7 a.m which i think could is like a little late but yeah as i said i would have in my ideal world i would like to wake up at 6 30 in the morning so i thought it was maybe a little late but yeah so i gave her for that a nine out of ten for breakfast claudia i didn't really know what she had for breakfast but she didn't have coffee or like matcha i didn't make myself a matcha latte because i wouldn't be able to start my day like actually so yeah i did make myself a matcha latte but she doesn't have matcha and her breakfast seems like a really um fast way just like something to get off your mind and i like to eat something good in the breakfast because it puts me in a good mood so i gave her for that an 8 out of 10. for her workout i gave her a 10 out of 10 because she does have a five minute meditation she does you know have make a list of intentions for the day and she does have an hour long workout so that's really nice claudia starts working at around 9 a.m which is really great so i gave her a nine, a 9 out of 10 for that overall for her routine i gave her a 9 out of 10 because it was a really nice routine as i said i would have liked to wake up earlier but overall her routine was really really nice i would have liked to maybe have coffee or like matcha latte is great too in the morning it was a really nice morning routine and wasn't too fast and has like good points so she work out she, she does a to-do list and for claudia we have a 45 out of 50 total points i finished the week with greg renfrew morning routine greg renfrew is the ceo of beauty counter which is a makeup brand and skincare brand that is very clean she she just girl bust her way through life and just a very inspiring person so i really wanted to try her morning routine Greta Renfrew starts her day off at 6 a.m. and makes breakfast for her family with a veggie and fruit smoothie. Um, she checks emails and makes lunches for the day. So I, that's what I did. I was eating some fruits and an orange juice while reading the skim, which she specifically said she read. And then after that, I made lunches for the day and we were having manico tea for lunch today with a little mango yogurt. After that, uh, well, that's my breakfast actually. I made it a little late, but it was really, really good. Then she shower, get dressed, and yeah, so she would actually read the news after that step of the morning, but I did it in the beginning. And then she would just take a walk. Well, actually, she'll walk her kids to school, but I walk my dog and start working at 8. So Greg Renfrew wakes up at 6 a.m., which I gave her a 9 out of 10 for that. Nothing else to explain. I explained it for Carrie Glassman, so nothing else to add. For her breakfast, she I gave her a 10 out of 10 because she has like a healthy breakfast. She starts with a smoothie, like fruits and vegetables, and I really like those kind of smoothies. And my dad actually mixed smoothies every morning in the week because that's the only thing that my little brother eat in the morning if we want him to eat so yeah 
for her workout i gave her a 5 out of 10 because she does go and take a walk to walk her kids to school however i do not have kids and i just took a walk with my dog it was really nice it was not a workout but it was nice to get outside and walk and get it some fresh air. Greg Green Fruit starts working at 8 a.m. which is a bit, you know, early but she does not work out so it doesn't rush the routine. It's just, you know, an 8 out of 10 because no workout and starts working really early without really moving your body too much. So for Greg Green Fruit's overall routine, I gave her a 41 out of 50. So for the winner of the morning routine, personally, it's always, you know, very personal, but I wanted to try these morning routine, maybe inspire you to try some and yeah, help you figure out what works for you in the morning, what doesn't from people that have been very, very successful and made a career for, for, from what they love. So the winner is Claudia Chan with 45 out of 50. So I really like that she does not go on social media in the morning and that her priorities are her pets like dog and cats. I really liked also that she did a to-do list for the day and set her intentions and what kind of energy she wanted to approach the day with, with which was really, really nice and kind of helpful to, you know, start the day and being like, okay, I'm motivated today. So it was really nice for that. Also, she does start working at 9 a.m., which is the ideal time of work, I think. Um, the only thing that I really didn't like about her routine was that she doesn't have a workout, really. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, tell me if you want me to try something else. I love trying new things. Like, you'll see that um, my channel is really me trying new healthy kind of thing. And I really like that. So yeah, I really have a lot of video of trying new things coming up and I hope you like them. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.